Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I'm continuing my series on how to sing like. And next up is Mickey Thomas from Starship or Jefferson Starship or Jefferson Airplane, <laughs> whatever incarnation of their name is, but in this case, Starship. And uh, before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to my channel. That'd be really cool. Uh, don't forget to ring the bell so I can keep new cool videos coming your way. And I have a singing course and the course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at Ken Tamplin vocalacademy.com uh, where the proof is in the singing where I walk you through all of these different great singers step by step in hopes to help make you a great singer. And I want to uh, make a quick comment. I've made this a few times but I'm going to keep hammering this home and that is that you know I see a lot of fancy advertising on YouTube and I see people claiming to be you know the most popular vocal coach on the internet because they care. Uh, and I see other uh, people promising to make you a great singer in 30 days and other people promising promising to put an octave on your voice guaranteed in 30 days like all this crazy stuff guys um, first of all there's a lot of funky advertising and people will say just about anything I'm trying to actually give you a lot of free tutorials so that you can actually see how this works with my voice and how this works with my students voices and that is the Ken Tamplin vocal Academy method now it's important because if the vocal coach themselves can't sing really well and they display no students that sing really well and I'm not talking about paying some YouTube star to say that they're doing your course and the YouTube stars even auto-tuned and a lot of crazy stuff going on there. I mean really sing guys and sing in the style that you want to sing. Um, I love what one of my students said and he said that he's learned the hard way that uh, a mentor of any kind of any discipline can only take you as far as they have gone themselves. Let me say that one more time. A mentor of any kind, in this case singing, can only take you as far as they have gone themselves. So get past the smoke in the mirrors and look closely are these coaches singing and singing well in lots of different styles. I mean we have close to a thousand videos on YouTube and are they displaying students that sing well? It's the only way you can tell if you're getting legit information. So with that said, getting back to Mickey Thomas. Now Mickey is a surprise for me because he's just a phenomenal singer. And I put him way up there obviously with guys like, you know, by the way, I'm not dissing other singers when I say I put them next to. So stay with me on this. But when I think of Journey and I think of Steve Perry, I wouldn't say Steve Perry is a better singer than Mickey Thomas and in fact in some cases Mickey does some things better than Steve Perry. So it's a mystery to me how Steve Perry went on into infamy or <laughs> becoming famous, infamy is a bad thing, but went on to become so famous for so long and Mickey Thomas sort of slipped through the cracks. Now we've seen this with guys you know like you know Michael Jackson or we've seen it with Freddie Mercury where they've got to this crazy icon status where there's other singers like Paul Rogers or Lou Graham. Um, that never got that acclaim later. I mean, they did in their day for sure, but it, it slipped through the cracks. John Waite is another example. There's a lot of really great singers out there, um, you know, that, that deserve kind of very similar accolades as a lot of these other guys. Mickey Thomas is one of those guys. So now I chose an old Elvin Bishop song. This actually isn't Starship. This is pre-Starship. But um, if you listen to songs like, you know, Sarah, of course, you know, Built the City and some other stuff, but you listen to some of the stuff that Mickey Thomas has done, uh, I'm going to give a couple examples of this here in a minute. Um, but I want to start with my song, Fool Around and Fell in Love. Now, I will say Richie Kotzen did a killer, Winery Dogs did a killer live version of this too. Uh, hats off to him because this is not an easy tune to sing. So let's start it and we'll make some comments along the way. Here we go. Now it's kind of high. Must have been through about a million girls, right? He's already placed it really, really high. Now, what I love most about Mickey's voice is just his smooth fluidity. He's so fluid and just so 
perfect in his pitch and it literally sounds like his voice is floating on clouds or something. It's just so beautiful and so well placed and his mixed voice is to die for. I mean his mixed voice is just absolutely phenomenal and for you younger singers out there, if you don't know who Mickey Thomas is, I strongly recommend you go out and just check out some Starship. We're going to do Jane after this in a minute which is another older Starship tune but just check out his voice and be honest and compare it to let's say a Steve Perry because like like I said, Steve Perry is a phenomenal singer. There's no question about it. But I don't know that Steve Perry is a better singer than Mickey Thomas, straight up. And, you know, Mickey Thomas, all these years later, has still been doing this. And Steve Perry kind of stopped singing there for a really long time. So um, I just want to emphasize that as we're going through some of this stuff. So, again, like his placement, his vowel placement is just like floating in the clouds. So instead, must have been through, must have been through. Right? He almost sounds like he's always in like a really cool, floaty sort of mixed voice sound, like he's floating on clouds. So good. So let's continue. Now before I go on, um, so this is very different than a lot of the singing that I normally do that I like personally. So when I belt and I wail and I do Dio and Steven Tyler and you know all these other you know iconic singers, David Coverdale, whoever, um, it's a lot of belting, right? But in Mickey's case, it's all finesse. All of it. It's all, you know, a combination of chest, head voice, and mixed voice finesse and going in and out of these different amazing vocal tones and making it sound big and round and open. So I bring this up because a lot of people say, hey Ken, is your course only for, you know, rock singers? Absolutely not. I build great voices and you can decide if you want to sing rock, if you want to sing pop, R&B, whatever. Uh, and this is a prime example of that as you're going through this and hearing how I sing real floaty on my vowels. And you're going to see this again a minute in a minute with one of my students, Gabriela Gunchikova, too, where we took on one of these songs also, and you're gonna hear very similar round vocal tones of how we apply open throat technique to getting to these vocal places, right? So check this out. of them. Right? So I'm real easy. Now, sometimes I'll lean into it a little bit like you heard to get some grit, a little bit of more tone out of it. Now, Mickey doesn't do that quite as much and he's not he's not a hard rock singer. So, um, you know, that's that's very different stylistic singing. Bobby Kimball's like that too and I'm going to do one Bobby Kimball from Toto. I'm going to do um, uh, how to sing like Bobby Kimball also because I did some Toto tunes and I want you to hear that as well. But so, notice though is I, I'm floating on a cushion of air and then when I want to lean into the sound to get the tone that I want, I do that and then I come right back and then I come back into that ease of mixed voice. Now I teach all of this in my singing course. It's a very, sort of the holy grail of, of singing real high range singing and singing well and singing safe. So I highly recommend it because it'll really, really help you understand how the voice works. into a solo after this. So I want to go to the to the end uh, after the solo because you're going to hear some higher notes where I'm able to kind of get in and out of head voice that I think you guys are all like a lot. So check this out. Free on my own. That's the way it used to be. Oh, but since I met you, baby. Do 
this with me. Love, love, love's got a hold on me. Right, so I'm going in and out now. Love's got a hold. Right, that's almost all head voice with about 20% of chest in the mix. And then I come back down into chest voice and it gives the illusion that I'm singing, pulling chest all the way up to this and I just have this really naturally gifted high range. I do not, I am a baritone, I don't have this range. Go listen to other things that I've done like low rider, um, low rider rides a little lower, right? Where I'm singing really low, that's actually Neil Diamond is kind of really more my actual natural range and I had to work it, work it, work it, work it to build up to this to understand how to do this and you can too if you apply yourself and have the disciplines of what I teach in the course you absolutely can get to these places and I do it with everybody gang so continue here we go <laughs> So, I mean, you get the point, right? I mean, I'm hitting all these notes and it just sounds like it's really natural and really easy. There's nothing forced. It doesn't sound like I'm straining at all. Um, now, I wanna do Gene, because this is another just a killer track. And what's interesting about this is, it proves that it's not just me that can do it, that I actually am able to teach other people exactly how to do this. You can go through all my students, check them out. And, and A-B them, you go, there's a similarity about the technique that I teach where while they sound unique and, and distinct in their own styles and their own character for their natural voices of my students, they also have one thing in common, freedom, range, ease with singing, power, distortion and grit when they want it, great pitch, all stamina for days, right? All these different things, they all have that in common that they apply to whatever singing style that they want, and that's killer. So check out Gabriella on Jane. I want to point out something else too. Now notice that when these round tones come in, you know, when these tones come in like that, that um, not only is it round and big, but it's also got a really nice brassy pointed sound to it also. There's a, there's a very famous term in uh, bel canto, which is um, the foundation of what I teach, old operatic style of singing, and I incorporate this and I've modernized the heck out of it. But it's called chiaro oscuro, which means there's brightness in the center with warmth around it. So we get all the warmth, but we get the power without having to push in the throat and constrict and feel like we're just choking off our vowels as we go up to get to this kind of range, right? And Gabriella is a quintessential example of that. She's just a perfect example of applying this method for these big round tones, but also when she places the vowel correctly, I teach you all these different vowel placements, when she places the vowel correctly, she's like, like, whoa, where did that come from, right? And it's really cool, man. I'll continue, here we go.
Okay, here's the bridge. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass this up because I want to go to the end, pass the guitar solo, and I want to get to the very end for you can hear some of the higher notes too to hear this resonance take over. Check this. Of high He doesn't do that in the original version. I kind of added, like I said, I always like to kind of take it up a notch, take it up a notch, not just to show that we can sound like the artist, but I like to have something that we can contribute to a song to make it worth hearing again, right? So it's not just the exact same thing over, but we, you know, we add our own little extra something, something to it. So anyway, gang, uh, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. I do most of this by request. So if you have a request of a vocalist you want me to do a takedown of and do how to sing like, please put that in the description and check out my next video. Yeah.